In this video, I'm going to show you how you can draw the HTML with Inkscape. First of all, open Inkscape, and once it's opened, you will see this screen. This is the default start screen of Inkscape. Now, first, I want to set the canvas size, which is by default A4 or letter if you're in America, to the same resolution of the uh, side toolkit experiment canvas, which is 800 by 600 pixels. So we go to File, Document Properties, and then we are going to set the units to pixels, and then the width will be 800 and the height 600 pixels. So we can also set the background color to uh, somewhat grayish. That is slightly easier to work with for this purpose. Okay, and there we're ready. Now I want to zoom in. Uh, I'm going to zoom and then page, and I selected the, the page so that the whole page fits in the screen. Now let's save this file. Uh, I'm going to save here on the right. You can press Ctrl S or this icon here, and I'm going to call this Stimuli. Now, as you can see, this will be a SVG file. That is the default format of Inkscape. The stimuli themselves, though, they will be saved as PNG bitmaps. And I will show you later how that works. But the file as a whole, all the stimuli together, they will be in one big file. And we save that as stimuli.svg. That is not something that SciToolkit itself will work with. OK, save. So that's done. Now let's start with the fixation point. The fixation point is basically a white plus on a black background. So the black background will be something uh, as big as this. Uh, and it will fit, you know, like if you look at the screen, the screen will, this is the whole screen, the whole screen of the experiment. So the fixation plus will be somewhere here. Now, um, let's uh, draw the two components of my fixation plus, two rectangles. Um, I'm going to make this white. See, there it's white, and now you see why it's nice to have a gray background so that it contrasts well with uh, white stimuli. And I'm going to uh, copy this. I'm going to duplicate this. I press Ctrl D, and then I have two of these. I'm going to re rotate this uh, 90 degrees clockwise, and now I'm going to so overlay these two items. And then it's my plus. Now it's not a perfect plus, but it is um, with align and distribute. I can make it better. So I go click here, say align and distribute, and then I have uh, an alignment relative to the selection area. So this is my selection area, and I align it uh, central, both horizontal and vertical, and then. Okay, so that's good now. I press Ctrl G to group these, and now this is my fixation plus. It fits nicely in here, just fits. So I can select these again and again uh, align centrally, and there is my fixation plus. Okay, so that's ready. Now let's select this and let's export it as a PNG bitmap that Side Toolkit can read in. So if I do this, I go click on this icon here, the arrow out of the document export this document or a selection as a PNG image. I click it and then I get here an area where I can type the name, the file name. The file name will be, say, let's call it fixpoint.png. It says it will be 79 by 80 pixels. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, I'm now going to export this. And it's exported now. And I can also close this little dialog here on the right. OK, I leave the Align dialog open because I often align these sort of stimuli. Now, I don't want to keep this in the center. I pre bring it here to the left. Right, if I so now look on my list of stimuli, now I want a uh, left pointing arrow. For this, I click here on Create Stars and Polygons. I want to create a uh, three cornered polygon, which is, of course, a triangle. And I create this. I'm going to make this yellow. And I'm going to put a rectangle on it. And now it looks like a nice arrow. 
maybe I should make the whole thing a little bit bigger. So I select it all. Okay, that looks good. Now again, I want to do some alignment here. I want central alignment, center and horizontal axis. And there we go. Again, I can press Ctrl G to group these. And I'd like to have a black background. So let's draw a black rectangle. Click here at the bottom, select the color black. And then I click on the arrow here again. Then I can click here, lower the section to the bottom. And then the black background is behind the yellow arrow. And there we have a yellow arrow. I think that one is, uh, is good enough for me, I think. And again, I select all this, uh, select the selection. And I go here on export this. And I'm going to say, OK, this is my left arrow. and. So I need to say left arrow dot PNG and I type export. So now I also want a right arrow. I just I'm going to copy and paste. You just do that with Control C and Control V like in other programs. Now what I do here is I select the arrow and I'm going to uh, flip this. For that I can just press the button H and that just turns it around so that's very nice now I'm going to select this and I'm going to export again and I'm going to call this uh, right arrow right arrow dot png and then say export okay so that's done so now we already have three stimuli I'm going to put this here uh, I'm going to save my file just in case okay and now I'm going to create um, some um, error feedback in case people make a mistake so I'm going to make some text uh, you made a mistake and um, I probably want to do like that and I want to not just have text here but also a symbol like for example um, a little face that looks unhappy so that's very simple to do so let's make a face like say um, red and let's draw some eyes on it so I draw two little circles on it uh, in a different color so there's a black one uh, black and I type control D duplicate that and put it here and I make a little bit of mouth so I select maybe uh, just the line segment and now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to press F1. I'm going to move this around a little bit. I'm now going to make this line wider. So I'm going to right click here at the stroke width. I'm going to make it four wide. I'm going to press on the line element here. I'm going to uh, bend this a little bit. So it's very easy inside toolkit, uh, in Inkscape. And there we go. So. Now we're going to zoom out again, um, just type the minus, and I'm going to put this on a nice green background, so that it gets a lot of attention. Now that green rectangle is in the foreground, I want to put it in the background, so okay. there we go. And so that stimulus is ready, and that is going to be called the error message, or error feedback. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to go to export here on the right. I'm going to say error feedback. Okay, so that's good. And say export. And there we go. Now I'm now that I'm making messages, I'm also going to make the thank you message that people will see at the end of the um, experiment. I'm going to duplicate this here and then move down and then I'm going to say here just uh, thank you thank you and I'm going to press F1 select this move it around a little bit this one should be a little bit friendly and now should be a yellow one and it should be smiling so I press V to just turn that around into a nice smile and the color may be blue let's try that looks good to me and I'm going to select these elements now and I'm going to export this and I'm going to say here, I call this bitmap thank you and export and done are we. 
So now I'm going to press 5 to see all my stimuli. I see, okay, I'm getting ready. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now I want to make the two instructions for the blocks. I'm going to move this around a little bit. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to duplicate this again with Ctrl D. I'm going to say here uh, training. That is at the beginning. Training block. Training. And then I'm going to type Control D and move it down and say I'm going to say uh, real block now okay press F1 then I get the uh, selection cursor again and then it's that okay so that looks good okay let's uh, export this as training Export and let's select this as uh, export this as real and there we go real dot png so now we have those stimuli so now all that is left to do is the instruction um, and that's quite important so I want to make a little bit space I can select these all. I can just move them around for a second. The instruction would be a little bit longer. So the instruction is that uh, if you see a left uh, pointing arrow, please press A. If you see a right pointing arrow, please press L. Now I chose these because they're of course on the left and right of the keyboard. Move this around a little bit. I think this fits nicely in. Also people need to know that they have to press the space bar to go on. So press space when ready. And I can select that. Actually I can also for example um, change that a little bit in oops sorry um in um say italic that is uh for the whole text i just want this as italic and i can for example put it in a different color and now i can again i need to have a nice background behind it say for example i will make the background yellow and i will move this to the background and there we go so the instruction is ready and i'm going to export this as instruction instruction now that's ready now i can export this and now when i think about it i want to see everything i have everything so real block now i realize that people should also press the button here so press space to go on I can add press space when ready and this uh, actually should probably be a little bit bigger and I need to move this around a little bit more and so that is also good and as you can see it's very easy to change these things something similar here um, real block now should also have this message uh, press space when ready you can just add that uh, I just I'm doing this also to show you how easy it is uh, to change these things in Inkscape and I need to then if I've changed them I need to export them again now this was called training training okay export replace yes and I changed this one as well this is real now export and now I'm done with all my stimuli so if I press 4 I see all my stimuli make sure that you save these when you're done with it and then you close the file and that's it